Hey y'all, Fenyan or Fen from Red Bay Coffee. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a pour over with the Chemex and the Ovalware RJ3 filter. If you love making coffee for your friends, your family, you know, to share, the Chemex is the tool for you. And this tutorial should help you out nicely. So all the things we need are right here. We've got the Chemex, we've got our filter, and we've got some lovely hot filtered water. Now, the beans I'm gonna be using today are very special. These are Red Bay Coffee's single origin King's Prize from the birthplace of coffee itself, Ethiopia. And this Chemex will do a great job highlighting its lovely peach and melon flavor notes. So, let's get started. We're gonna take our water, and we're gonna go ahead and give the Chemex and the filter a nice rinse. Once we've got the water in there, I'll go ahead and swirl it, and make sure we're getting the Chemex nice and warmed up. And for those of you using paper filters, this is also gonna be really awesome because it'll help cut some of that papery taste and make sure that we're highlighting all of the flavor of the beans. You can take your filter out if it's reusable and we'll store it here. And then we'll go ahead and dump that water. We won't need it. So next steps, let's take our Chemex with our filter, set it on our scale, and we'll grab our coffee. Now what you want is a nice ratio between coffee and our filtered water of one gram of coffee to every 16.5 grams of water. Now, I've pre-measured all of this, but what I'm going to be using today is 20.5 grams of coffee, ground, nice, and kind of rough and coarse, almost like coarse sand kind of consistency. And I'm gonna take all 20.5 of these and I'll go ahead and bring them to the filter. There we go, let's make sure everything is in there. We don't wanna lose any of that good taste. Now, what I'm going to wanna do to start is pour about twice the amount of water to the beans here. So we're using 20.5 grams of beans. So I'm gonna go for about 41 grams of water. I'll go ahead and start my timer and we're gonna give it a nice even pour and saturate all of those beans. There we go. You should be able to see the ground starting to expand and off gas. What this is called is the bloom. You can start getting some of the scents of the coffee, but it's just part of the process to get all of those good flavors out. Once we've passed those 30 seconds, we can go ahead and continue going clockwise, gently around, getting all of the ground saturated. And once we get to the outside rim, we can start bringing it back in. We're going to aim to have this whole process done by about two minutes and 50 seconds to three minutes. As we approach our time, give it a nice final pour, get all those grounds once more, and we'll let it drain. Typically we're aiming for 340 grams total of coffee. Once it's done, you can remove the filter and set it aside. Then give the Chemex a nice swirl. At this point, you should be able to get a nice smell of the aromatics coming off. And it's time to pour.
And with that, we have a beautiful cup of coffee. Perfect for sharing. Once again, thank you so much for joining us here to making a pour over for you with our Ethiopian single origin bean, the King's Prize. If you'd like to learn more about our coffee and maybe purchase some beans or any kind of coffee accoutrement you might like, check us out at redbaycoffee.com. Thank you so much. <laughs>